So again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I got a 10 by 20 inch canvas with some black paint waiting and some shovels. And I have an idea of what I might want to do. And this is my OXO omelet turning spatula. Best paint spreading tool I know of. Bar none that I know of. And there goes my, my skewer right under my feet. My intention is to use my shovels and add some colors right into them. Put them across the painting fast enough so that I can then tip them and see how I feel about the result. And this background paint is heavy enough to help other paint move. Paint will flow to paint. All of my paints have deco or excuse me, all of my paints have GAC 800 by Golden in them and pouring mediums. The recipe is below the video. I don't want any canvas showing, but um, usually I will prime a canvas or use a primed canvas in advance of using black paint. But I happen to not have one that's pre-primed like this. So I'm going to use this one. I am going to wipe off the paint on my spatula right there. Most of it, anyway. And a lot of times, once I get most of that off, I'll just use a finger to go down the side. So one out of four is covered, sort of, kind of. All right, so here goes nothing, other than the fact that I wish I had my tweezers, because I see that there's something in here. I have an Amazon link. It's on the link tree that has all the links right below the video. Come here, you thing, you, that just does not belong. There we go. So I'm going to put this forward somewhat, and I'm going to grab colors that I like, and hope that they will come out. <laughs> And wish, <laughs> like, I just cleared that tip, too. And that is a big clog. That has to be something that came from the, clean your threads out if you use squeeze bottles like I do, because it really helps if the dried filaments of paint are removed. Let's grab a little bit of black. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do to change this up next time. If I can do more than one, if I can do more than one of these, I will. Whoops! I guess we're starting in the middle, and I'm not inclined to do. A straight stripe, but I will let the shovel deposit its paint right over the edge and drag it down also gonna and I can tip those all together I'm just gonna keep using the same shovel until I can't and I don't see any reason why I shouldn't be able to except for that I can't get the paint to come out of my bottles okay I'm so sorry for making making you wait definitely need paint to come out of the bottles in order to work this magic Maybe I'll go from the other side. Maybe that's not a good idea. And I'm going to grab some color shifting turquoise from Folk Art. And I saw that big thing. What was that big thing that was in there? Come at you. I see you. Okay. So I want something that's different. And the, the less I mix my colors, better off I am. And I just had this idea that if I started from the middle, then I could probably release my colors on the other side. Who knows? I may They may just blend all together when I tip if I tip. It's a good question. If I tip is definitely... I'm just going to let some of that relax. And I'm, <laughs> I'm going to expect one of these bottles to be open one of these times. Open and fully functional. 
I'm looking for my Prussian blue. And I'd like a little bit of white metallic from Anita's, but I'm not sure where it is. And it should be right here. So I'll just use a little gold instead. I want that. <laughs> I want that white. Show yourself. There it is. Excellent. I'm going to mix a couple of I'm going to drag a skewer through that so it doesn't stay completely white. I had a different plan for this. I wanted to line up like five shovels and just do them by, by rote. I may not wind up tipping. I, wind, I might wind up making quite the mess, actually. So I'm going to start with that yellow I was about to grab. And grab my purple. I'm almost ready for some Bahama blue, which is an Anita's color. I'm going from the other side. That's all there is to it. Who knows what I could do with this? I could drag a basing brush from one end to the other all the way down and it would be pretty cool. tempted to find out what that would be like. I think I'm going to start with my skewer, see what that's like first. So, what's for the last one? I think I need turquoise again. And a couple purples. Some more gold, maybe a little black. I like the idea of that black. That's my little pretend paintbrush, which is nothing more than a little tiny piece of plastic that I'm using as a swipe attached to a bamboo skewer with a piece of duct tape. But it makes a great little swipe tool, especially right now. Looks like there's all kinds of cool colors in there. So I could do all kinds of things like use a straw. I'm going to do one more stripe. I don't think I've had nearly enough red. And I can see why I'm not getting it either. I think something else. Some of that. Maybe a little more. Every time I use a color I like the look of. I see someplace else I might want to put it. I don't know if tipping is a great idea. I'm not even sure starting not at the edge is a good idea. But I started this, so I'm going to finish it. And I know as long as I have a heavy layer of paint on the background that there's a pretty good chance that I can meld it just by dragging my skewer. So now what? Do I leave it like it is? I probably could. I kind of want to grab an edge catcher and tip this. Because I can. That's the name of my first book. Volume 1 is Because I Can. It's on the Amazon link under Show More. I'm going to start over here and just go straight across. And then I think I'm going to go back again. I'm going to move my tile out. I know you're not, you guys aren't going to be able to see anything, but this is the way I need to move things.
This is a pretty simple idea. You should be able to do this as long as you've got a shovel. Wherever the paint is heaviest, that's where you're going to get a drip. And if I've got any paint left, I could dribble. I can put that paint in right there. I can drag it out and I can use that drip. And that's super simple. Now you've got super simple and super cool stripes. Do I want to do anything else to that? Not really. I don't see any problem with that. That's super dramatic. And I've got some really nice cells and my turntable is off center now. You could swipe, you could run a basting brush through this, you could do all kinds of stuff, but uh, I think other than adding a little bit of black on these ends, I'm done. The torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I appreciate it when you guys share my videos, by the way. Thank you for the thumbs up and the wonderful comments. I can actually stick a skewer in and drag anything to connect it that I want. In a f more than a few places, if that's appealing to me. I don't know if that's helpful. But it's done now, so we won't worry about it. It wasn't bad before, and it's not horrible now. I can dip my skewer in there. As long as the paint is heavy, you can borrow paint. You may not be returning it anytime soon, but you can borrow it. Put it from one place to another. There we go. I think I'm going to call that good. It's just something anybody should be able to do. Just keep changing your colors up. I'm going to fix my sides in a while. I want to thank you guys for all the wonderful comments you leave me all the time. I really appreciate the morale boost. Um, I do sell my artwork and I need to sell my artwork in order to pay for art supplies. The money I used to make at YouTube is no longer coming in and uh, I'm not being sent to places where people can subscribe easily. So, And also 15% of notifications seem to be the only ones going out. And unless a video does immediately, like stupendously well, they don't send any more out. If, they, if it does, you're lucky and you'll get more notifications. If you're not getting them, you can always find tomorrow's video, from, from me at least, on my community board, on my YouTube channel, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation, excuse me, that's Facebook, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Priscilla Batzell. I am touching up my edges and I will continue to do so until I have them all covered. There is a monthly drawing on the third week of any month so far. Yeah, I just dribbled there. That's okay. It's a natural part of the process. <laughs> um, oh, there's my crib sheet. I asked for a thumbs up. There's playlists. All, all playlists will take you to created playlists. And there's over 360 videos there organized by the hundred and by the genre. And um, my Amazon link is under the link tree. Everything's under the link tree. And if you shop my Amazon link, it's at no idea cost to you. And it helps me out. And I really appreciate that. And I'm going to use my little brush to add a little something that tip trails up there and what waggle that out and I think I'm good I don't know if I torched long enough but I'll torch again after you're gone I don't know why I couldn't get my turntable back where it's supposed to be but I love you guys there's over uh, 86 that 86,600 of you so if you'd all watch <laughs> I'd be all set but that's probably not gonna happen anytime soon you know what for whatever reason I'm getting called to add a little bit of orange right there. And those of you who watch me regularly know that this is par for the course. There's just bound to be something. that gets added at the very last second. 
I wonder if I can make some leggings. I have Teespring clothing under the video, and on Teespring there are all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. And yeah, you, you knew you couldn't trust me to leave it alone, could you? I like my negative space, but I like my other space too. The ones full of colors. So I am pretty well off, in spite of the fact that I really don't want to stop. Whoa, that was a lot more than I expected. Fortunately, I know what to do with that. And that doesn't look too bad, so I'm all good with that. I'm not complaining. A few spots of white here and there never hurt anybody. You guys take care now. You take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And um, let me check and see what I've forgotten. I told you about Teespring. So there's Pixels and Fine Art America. And those links are not only under the link tree, but they are also on... Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Totes and More. Or just look for Totes and More. Not too many people were foolish enough to call their, <laughs> call their Facebook page Totes and More. But I did. And thank you guys for placing all those orders. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. Really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. And I know, you can't really blame me. It's, it's my painting and I'm having too much fun. Again, I recommend it. Fun is good. Fun is necessary. Enough with the social distancing. Can't wait until this is officially over. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. I think I said that already too. But I'm still... My timer hasn't gone off. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was waiting for. So make sure you know that Kindle will give you a free, free sneak peek of my, uh, of my books because they're on Amazon. I think I've told you everything. I'll tell you again. I do sell my artwork. My email address is under the video. I love you very much. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. I was thinking about this all day. I'm really glad you were here for me to do this. I will see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Maybe it'll go down between the end screens. Oh, check the end screens for the uh, exhibition video. They'll show you next month's prizes. There we go. I think that's pretty good. Cool. See you soon. Bye for now. Binge watch for me, would ya? Thank you. Love you.